Hi, I'm Randa Parrish with Prairie Quilt. I'm going to show you a fun little way to do a pillowcase where all the seams are completely enclosed. These are some of the samples that I have. There's a little insert here. This one I cut two inches. This one I cut three. So you can see that you can change the look a little bit. When you open them up, you'll see that you have a complete enclosed seam, not only here, but also here. So that's what I'm going to show you today. The first thing that we're going to start with is the cuff. So this is the cuff of our fabric. And then we're going to put the little red trim. I folded that in half, pressed it in half. And we're going to set that on there and we're going to sew this. The reason we're going to sew this first, if you've seen any of these demonstrations before, you end up having five raw edges together. And we don't want to have to deal with trying to keep five edges all together. That's a little bit too hard of pinning. So I'm just going to do this without pinning this first part. I'm using a quarter inch seam. So now I've sewn that quarter inch seam. You'll notice that I don't have any selvages trimmed. We're going to do that a little bit later. And now I'm going to lay the body of my pillowcase on here. And it's going to go wrong sides together. So we're going to be putting that there. And then we're going to roll this up. like this. So I'm trying to keep all those nice and straight together. Okay, I've got it all pinned together in a long hot dog. And we'll start sewing. Okay, so what I want to do is make sure that I don't have any pins in here because you don't want to have a pin in an enclosed seam. That would be a mess get the body of the pillowcase and start pulling from there. So here's my right side and here's my left side. I'll press this going up towards the trains. I'm ready to trim the selvages. So I'm going to put the two selvages together. Okay, so we've cut both of the selvages off. So all we're going to do now is to match these up. And we're not going to put them right sides together. We're going to put them wrong sides together. We're going to make a French seam. What I like to do is just stab through here so that I make sure that it's on the right place. I want this to look real nice. Okay, we're going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way down here until a fourth inch away here and then we're going to sew a quarter inch seam there. Okay, here's the corner. So I'm going to go down to the corner to a fourth of an inch and then turn. 
Always start on the cuff end. All right, I've turned it wrong side out now. And what I'm going to do is press this. I want to be sure to press this so that I can get a nice flat seam there. What we're going to do is we're going to make a larger seam this time. So I'm going to change my foot. And I'm going to make a half inch seam now. Be sure to back stitch on all of this because you know this is going to be used for a child or even an adult. Pillowcases are washed so much. Okay, so we've sewn it with the right sides in and then the right sides out and this is what we've ended up with. Here's our cute little pillowcase and as you can see all the seams are finished ready to give away for Christmas. Thanks for watching our video and go to quiltnow.com for more of our educational tutorials.